Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will learn how to build a responsive form control experience in Power Apps. Our modern form control will be fully responsive on most device sizes and orientations. I will showcase how to design and style the form, tips and tricks around how to bulk update properties, connect the modern form control with the modern table control, and a lot more. So let's check this video out in action. The form control in Power Apps allows us to display, edit, or create a record in our data source. And typically, we connect a form control with either a gallery control or a table control to create a responsive screen with a form control, I will take the advantage of a new screen template, which is called header and form. This will build a screen that leverages the responsive container controls. And as long as my power app is set for responsive design, which we can easily do by heading over to settings, display and turning off the scale to fit feature. The template adds this header container. I'll try and design my screen for the form experience in a unique way. I don't need the header, so I'll go ahead and cut the header container. The screen has a property called background image. Here, I have the option to upload an image. I've gone ahead and uploaded an image file, but it's not visible. And the reason is because the screen container color property, I'll go and change that to transparent. Now you can see that my background of the screen which is that image is visible. The image position is set to fit. This I will change to fill. So it will take the entire real estate of the screen. In the screen, if you observe, there is a drop shadow effect here. This is for the form container. So I'll select the form container. Drop shadow, I'll set it to none. For the main container, its fill property, I'll give it a defined color. I've plugged in the RGBA code. The alpha value stands for the transparency of the color. One meaning full transparency. In my case, I'm setting it to 0.8. I get this transparent effect. Now this main container, I want to change its width dynamically depending upon the size of my screen. My screen, which I have renamed as form screen, has a property called size that lets me know whether the user is on a mobile device or a tablet device or a desktop experience. The width for the main container, I'll set as follows. Switch on the name of my screen, which is called form screen, that has a property called size. If the screen size is screen size dot small, meaning it's on a mobile device, the width of this container, I'll set it as parent dot width. If the screen size is medium, here also I'll set it to parent dot width. Else, parent dot width divided by two. Main container, horizontal justification, I'll set it at the center. Vertical alignment, I'll set it at the center. Alignment in container, center. Now if I preview the app on a desktop experience or a widescreen experience, the container will take half the width and it's center aligned. Tablet experience, 
held horizontally, half the width, vertically, full width. Mobile device, full width. Responsively adjusting the width of the container in which my form control will be placed. The form container, justify vertical, center, horizontal alignment, stretch. The form control. I can connect to a data source that is connected in my power app. The table control on my home screen is connected to a table in Dataverse that is connected to my power app. My form control, I will connect it to that same table. So this will go and start adding the columns from my table as fields in this form control. The main container, vertical alignment, make sure it's stretch. The form, alignment and container, stretch. The form control, fields, allows me to pick the columns that I would like to place in the form control. I can reposition them. I can add columns from my connected table to the form. I can remove columns that I do not want to be placed on the form. Columns, how many columns at max I would like to align in a single row. For my scenario, since I am squeezing the form section in the middle, if it's a desktop or a widescreen experience, columns at max I would like to set to two. And you can see how the columns are stacked in a two column format. I would like to change the colors of the data card key values inside my form control. This is what shows the name of the column. This control has a font color property. I can directly plug in my RGBA code and it will show the font color. And this is something I would have to do for each and every data card. One quick way of achieving this is select the form control, change the layout. So I'll change it from vertical to horizontal. Control Z to undo, this will select all of the data card key and value controls. Now I'm only interested in the keys. So if I hold the control key, I can start deselecting the values. Quickly, I can have all my data card key controls selected across all my data cards. They all have a property called font color that now in one go, I can set to this particular color code. The submit button on select of this, it submits the form and then it immediately resets the form. I only wanted to submit the form, so I'll comment out reset form. Preview the app, click submit, and notice the required field validations will come into play. In my scenario, department is a mandatory field. So notice the star symbol here is visible and so is the error message. I would like to change the color code for these. Star symbol I can select, change the font color, the error message, font color, just pick a light shade of red. Cancel resets the form. The data cards in the form control is not taking the real estate that's available for the form container. Well, that's because I need to set a property of data card called with fit to on. To select all the data cards in one go, hold the control key. I have one data card selected. I'll select another one. I'll select the previous one. Two are selected. Control A, it will select all the data cards. And in one go, I'll set their with fit property to on. Now, if I preview, the controls will take the full real estate 
of the data card and fit the width. This is fully responsive. Tablet device. Notice how the form changes into a one column format here. The form gives me a scroll experience. Change the orientation, full screen, two column layout. Go to a mobile experience, single column, scroll experience. The button container, I would like to make the controls center aligned, horizontal justification center, now all I have to do is connect the table control on my home screen with the form screen. Table control has an option that allows the user to select a record. For the on select property of the table control, I will set a variable to define the mode of my form. If I head over to the form control, this control has a property called default mode that is currently hard coded to form mode.new. When the user is selecting a record in the table control, at that point, they would like to edit that specific record. So for that table control on select property, I will set a variable called where form mode to form mode.edit. Then I will reset the form, which is on the form screen. In my case, it's called form one and then navigate the user to my form screen. Preview the app. I'll select a record. It navigates me to the form screen, but I don't see any data. That's because form control default mode property is currently hard coded. I will change this to where form mode. The form control has a property called item. It needs context of the item that was selected in the table control. And that I can provide it by using the formula, the name of my table control dot selected. This shows the data. I'll change the age to 39 and submit. At this point, it has submitted the data, but it needs to navigate the user back to the home screen. It should do that if the form control successfully submits the data. The indicator for that is when the on success property of the form control triggers. So this property I can simply set to back. Let's preview. Submit value changed. If you look at the record for Rafael Nadal, age has changed to 39. Let's pick Roger Federer. Let's change his annual salary. Submit, salary changes, salary mapping value increased to senior level. I would like the user to create a new record and I want to reuse that same form control. Very simple. I'll add a button. I'll give the text as new. On select, I'll take very similar steps as on select of table, which is set where form mode to form mode dot new since I'll be creating a new record. I'll reset my form and navigate the user to my form screen. New is clicked. It's a new form experience. I have to fill all the data before I can submit this new record to my data source. I filled in the data, submit, here is the new record. I select, it navigates me back to the form screen and allows me to change the values. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.